Good morning and happy Sunday. Um, Brother Jeff has highly encouraged me to do a video to keep you guys in touch, um, to keep us in touch, and to grow together um, spiritually as well. So this morning we're going to be in uh, 1 Peter um, 5. We're going to be looking at verses 8 through 11. And uh, those verses says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kind of sufferings are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will establish himself, or will restore, or will, excuse me, it says, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you to be, to him be the domain forever, ever, amen. So, we're going to talk about this a little bit. And it says in verse 8, it says, Be sober-minded, be watchful, for your adversary prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Um, so if you guys know anything about me, I like to fish. You can actually see my fishing poles here. And I like to use a lot of different baits. Like one of my favorites, even though, I, even though I'm terrible, um, if you want to know how terrible I am, just uh, ask for a story. And uh, I can tell you because uh, there's been many times I lose... A lot more lures than I catch fish. But anyways, the point is, um, I like to use a lot of different lures. This is a little swim bait. It uh, represents a little bluegill. Um, this is a little chatter bait. Or no, this is a swim or a spin spin bait. Um, you know, the little blades. It's supposed to represent like a little bait fish. Um, another, another big thing I've just been throwing. I haven't caught nothing on it because look at this nonsense. It's huge. It's another little swim bait. Um, Another little swim bait. I like these little ones. I've caught quite a few on these little ones. Um, that's just a weighted hook. Anyways, and then a, a little chatter bait. Um, all representing a little bait. But the but the point is, each one does a different thing. It represents a different um, a style of bait, or it represents a different. Uh, uh, it gives a fish a different look. At a you know, a different look on what they might decide to eat. But um, in the verse, it says, be alert, be sober-minded. The devil, your adversary, roams around like a warring lion. And um, I just thinking on the past days of me going fishing, I feel like uh, fishing in these different baits um, can represent the devil in a sense. Um, it may be a far stretch, but just follow me. So the devil's roaming around like a like a roaring lion waiting to devour you. Um, the whole point of us fishing, the whole point of us throwing different lures is so the fish will devour it. And that way we can catch the fish and we can either do what, whatever we want with it, whether we release it back or we, we decide to eat it or, or whatever, um, whatever we choose. I feel like, and especially in the day's time, as we're in quarantine, as we, um, as we're supposed to keep social distancing, distancing, um, stuff like that. I feel like the devil himself is throwing little baits like this, whether it be depression, whether it be loneliness, whether it be um, anxiety, um, fear, whether it be whatever. He's throwing these different lures that he's trying to catch you up in, whether it be a little swim bait, whether it be a little um, anxiety swimming by, whether it be desperation, um, fear, whatever it may be. Um, He's trying to throw these different lawyers. He's trying to throw these different um, trials and tribulations at you so that you may devour it, that you may, um, so that he can get a victory, more or less. And uh, I just wanted to encourage you. I wanted you to have this verse during these uh, interesting times, during these tough times, as we don't know, like a lot of you guys are out of school. Um, some of you guys are out of work. Some of you guys are working at home. Uh, I just want to give you this encouragement, this uh, this word this morning that you can take and that you can use, that you can find encouragement, that you can find hope in it. Because it says, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil prayers around, or prowls around like a warring lion seeking to devour you or devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. And that's why we're doing this. That's why I'm going to start doing these um, videos for you guys. That way we can have, 
That way, us together, we can resist and we remain firm in our faith, knowing that the same kind of sufferings are being expected by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, which we were, it's been a little while, it's been more than two weeks, like some of the reporters says, it's, it's, it's going on and it's going to continue for a while from my understanding. And so, so as we have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ himself, will restore, he's going to confirm, he's going to strengthen, and he's going to establish us. So be encouraged that after we go through this, after we get through this, we're going to be restored. That's um, mentally, physically, um, spiritually, we are going to be restored. We're going to be confirmed in our faith. We're going to be in strength. We're going to be strengthened together. Um, I, I truly believe that this is going to bring us closer together once, we, once we're able to see each other and be able to hug each other, each other and back in church together. And we're going to be established as a group. And to him be the domain forever and ever. Amen. So I just want to encourage you this morning that um, that uh, we're going to get through this. That um, scripture says that we're going to have to suffer a little while, which, yes, it, it stinks. But we got to think about the cross as well, how Jesus himself has suffered. But even when he suffered, um, he was ultimately, like this verse says, he was ultimately restored. He was confirmed he was strengthened and he was established so after we suffer a little while we're gonna know we're gonna we're gonna feel his love we're gonna be restored we're gonna be strengthened and we're gonna be established as christians so i'll encourage you to keep reading keep praying um and just uh just keep on keeping on see you guys